Hey guys, it's Jarrett Wicked Prepared, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite preps to pick up at Dollar Tree. How's everybody doing? I know it's been a while since I made a video. I got sick, just a good old spring cold, but I felt like I was coughing forever. It just wouldn't stop. I couldn't stop coughing long enough to get out a complete sentence, much less make a video. So, but I'm feeling a lot better. So now I'm back. And um, you know that we like to focus on, you know, prepping on a budget whenever we can. I mean, there's times you don't want to cut corners, but there's times that it's okay to, to get a little bit of a deal. So I love the Dollar Tree. There are some things that are really great to pick up at the Dollar Tree when you're prepping. There's a couple things you need to watch out for at the Dollar Tree. Um, the first thing is obviously some things are just junk. If you're going to pay a dollar for something, sometimes they're just not worth it. Another thing is sometimes you're not going to get the best deal at Dollar Tree. You really have to watch the unit prices and know what a good price is at other stores before you jump on something just because it's at the Dollar Tree. And then the third thing about Dollar Tree is you're definitely not going to find, I mean, they have such a huge variety of items. So you're not going to find everything at one Dollar Tree at one point in time. I have about four Dollar Trees in my area, sort of in my area that I travel to to find the items that I really want. So you gotta keep looking, you know, things come in and out of stock and some Dollar Trees just don't get certain things. So if you can't find something that's mentioned at your Dollar Tree, then check another Dollar Tree that's close by if you have one. So basically I took my favorite, most reliable uh, preps that I think are worth buying at Dollar Tree and I kind of separated them into categories. Now, coincidentally, the mister just released a video, a beginning prepper video about the five F's of prepping. And a lot of my categories actually go along with those five F's. So the first um, category that I have is fire. And of course, some of the things that you can get at Dollar Tree that are really good are matches. They've got, um, they've got these uh, big box of matches and then they've got the small individual box of matches. And those are really good to grab some every time that you go to Dollar Tree stash them away in a box and have them. Of course, like anything else, you're going to want to rotate those things. Um, you know, you don't want to end up three years from now, you have an emergency and you need matches and you've got, you know, three-year-old matches at the back of the box. So anytime that you need matches in your regular everyday life, you want to be using the oldest first and putting the new matches at the back of the box or the bottom of the pile. Rotating your stock is always key with everything that you use for prepping. And then besides uh, matches, obviously you've got lighters. Um, Dollar Tree is a great place to buy lighters. When I get lighters at Dollar Tree, I like to try to get like a name brand of lighters. But these um, Dollar Tree brand, these are also really good. And then I picked up these because they're just cute. They're pink. And I really like to get this um, type of lighter. I put these in all of our EDC kits and everywhere that I can because it, it's not as long as, as this one. But it does have a little bit longer of a tip because I feel like... Um, Unless you're lighting a cigarette, which is not what I'm going to be using a lighter for, you really, really can use that longer tip to help you light anything else that you would be lighting. So, matches and lighters, and I actually found these this year at Dollar Tree. This is the first time I've ever seen these. They're fire starters, and you get Quick Survive fire starters. Lights any fire fast. There's three in each pack, and I had an open pack. I'll just open one of these. Um, so inside are these little packets of a white substance, whatever that may be. Um, and these actually work really well. I took these outside and tested them just to see how they work. And I just threw them on a cookie sheet, like my oldest, yuckiest cookie sheet, and lit them up. There's the ducks, wondering what on earth I'm doing crazy lady. They did burn for well over five minutes. It says on the package, it says burns up to 10 minutes. I didn't get them to burn that long, but it was over five minutes because I videoed the, them burning for five minutes before they went out. And that was with me lighting it outside and then thinking and remembering to run inside and grab my camera, run back outside and start taking the video. So, so these work pretty well. I have never noticed them before, but this year I found them in their sort of outdoorsy gardeny area. And they put them out right when they put out their Father's Day stuff. So I'm not sure if this is like just a seasonal item or maybe a Father's Day item. But those are really great and worth picking up. And then this 
is a giant magnifying sheet. And this is something that you can find with the books and the puzzle books and all that. And this is actually really good for lighting fires because it's like a giant magnifying glass. So you can focus the sun's rays right through this and use this for fire lighting. And it's, it's paper thin and it's very light. You could store this anywhere. You could stick this in any um, bug out bag or any type of kit that you had. So this is perfect for a dollar. And then the final thing that I have to go along with fire are these um, fancy heat. And these are basically a canned like alcohol gel fuel. You probably have heard of Sterno. These are used a lot for um, like catering and in a chafing dish. So these are safe to use inside. And these for a dollar is a great deal. This burns up to two hours, it says. A can of Sterno um, is about $3 in the store. It says it burns two and a quarter hours. So this really is a great deal because you can use these to heat food inside. Um, and you can also use these, for example, if you have an ice storm or a power outage in the winter and you're worried about your pipes freezing, these can be used to provide some heat in an area with exposed pipes. So the next category I have is light. That's not one of the five Fs. But um, Dollar Tree is a great place to pick up candles. They have these. Um, you can get these either with, you know, religious designs on them or just plain. These are great because they'll burn for a long time. And a tip that I learned is to use a mug and to put the candle inside of a mug because then number one you have a handle if you want to carry it around from place to place and number two is I have had issues in the past um, with certain candles that are in a glass jar like these when they get really low all of a sudden the glass jar will shatter so if you have them inside of something then you have a little protection against that as well so those are great candles that will burn for a long time it's also a good place um, at Dollar Tree to get these tea light candles and these can be used for light. They can also be used to warm food. You're not going to be able to really cook with them, but you can warm food in a small, um, like small stove, portable stove. And they can also be used to provide some heat to um, avoid pipes freezing, but you have to watch them really carefully, obviously. Another great pick up, thing to pick up at Dollar Tree for light is glow sticks. Um, we like to include these in all of our kits and we use these when we go camping. Um, these are just the regular glow stick kind obviously. They can give you a little bit of light. They have a loop for hanging them so you could wear them. You could hang them you know in a room. And the bracelet kind, these 25 for a dollar. I mean you can't beat that. And then you get little connectors so you can make them into a little ring. So these are great to loop around your dog's collar. Um, you can loop them, make a chain of them and you know hang them by where your kids are sleeping in case they wake up in the dark. These are really great to have for an emergency. And then the final thing I like to get at Dollar Tree for lighting are these solar lights. For only a dollar, they're not bad. And if you had a grid down emergency where there was no power, you could use these outdoors to mark a path, you know, to your wood pile if you're burning wood for heat or to a wood shed or another shed or outbuilding. If you have your emergency toilet set up outside, you can use these around that to provide a little bit of light and to see where you're going. So these are a great buy for a dollar. Another one of the five apps and something that can be good to pick up at Dollar Tree is food. Now food is where I think you really have to be careful because sometimes things aren't a really great deal. For example, I would not pick up Chef Boyardee cans at Dollar Tree because I usually pay less for a dollar than for them on sale at another store. So things like that, you really have to watch the prices. I wouldn't want to pick up um, usually canned soups. I feel like I can often do better. Um, like Campbell's soup, the the difference would be uh, these, if I get these 25% bigger cans, I feel like that's a good deal. Um, some of the things that I do think are a good deal, they have this, Chicken a la King. That's a nice uh, meal with protein that is cheaper than buying that at a different store. These, I wouldn't buy a small can of Vienna sausages, but these, uh, this is a big can. This is 10 ounces, so it's at least twice as big as the smaller cans of Vienna sausages bites. So that's a great protein snack to have. And then um, another food item that I like to pick up at Dollar Tree that is a really good deal is this Himalayan pink salt. Uh, this is a pound for a dollar. That's a really good deal. And you can use this not only for cooking and for seasoning your food, but you can also use it for canning because it doesn't have the iodine. But that's an important point. Um, iodine, iodized salt contains iodine 
and that's really important for bodily function. And if you have a grid down emergency where you're relying on all your stored food or food you can grow or find, you, you're going to be short on nutrients. So you do want to make sure that you stock plenty of iodized salt so that you don't develop an iodine deficiency. I was reading about when they started putting iodine in salt. It was 1924, I believe, and it said that it actually raised the IQ of a quarter of the population who had an iodine deficiency because it's that important for cognitive function and brain function and thyroid function. It's just important for everything. So this is a really great deal. I would not pick up the iodized salt at Dollar Tree. I would pick that up at Walmart or elsewhere, but you wanna make sure you have plenty of that also. Another great thing to pick up at Dollar Tree in the food category are these um, shelf-stable cartons of milk. This one's almond milk, but they also have whole milk, you know, regular cow's milk, whole milk, low-fat milk. These, um, they're only a dollar. It's really a great price, and if you refrigerate them before you use them, then they're pretty decent. They're not going to have the shelf life of a powdered milk. So, like, we use our Thrive Instant Milk for long-term storage, but these are great to have on hand to tide you over in a, in a short-term emergency. I know that I had a friend on my Facebook in Texas when they had all of their big winter weather this past winter, and they, they couldn't find what they needed in the stores, and she had a young child who would only drink milk, and she couldn't find milk anywhere, and she was on Facebook pleading with people to help her find milk for her son. And that just really, really illustrated to me how important it is to keep things like this for short term, you know, for short term emergencies and rotate them out. And then have the powdered stuff for the more long term emergencies. So let's see. Another thing that I like to pick up at Dollar Tree in the food category is um, like uh, drink mixes like these. This is about the same price as buying them at Walmart or somewhere else. And then these are instant coffee packets. Now, instant coffee wouldn't be my first choice um, for like for coffee, but I do we do use them for making iced coffee. And let's face it, if you have a grid down emergency, my Keurig probably is not going to be working. So I would be pretty happy to have some packets of Folgers instant. And these um, are something you can add to your water to flavor it up, just to reduce the monotony. And also, sometimes if you're treating your water with something like bleach, for example, it might leave a taste or, or water treatment tablets might leave a little bit of a taste. And so you might want to add something to that to cover that up. And there's also these. These are one of our favorite items, our must have items from Dollar Tree. You can see that they're almost empty because they've been used. I just took them right off of our coffee bar. But these are sugar free, um, like flavoring syrups for coffee, hazelnut and French vanilla. And we use these daily, and they're one of those items I literally have over 100 bottles boxed up in my basement because <laughs> that's the prepper in me. These, like the Dollar Tree, will have them, our Dollar Trees, and then they'll, they won't have them. They won't get them in for months, like six to nine months. So we were running out all the time. So the next time they got them in, I just started buying, 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 buying as many as I could get and boxing them up in the cellar so that we don't run out because that's, that's really a prepper's heart. It's to get what you need before you need it so that you have it when you need it. So the last thing I'm going to say about food at Dollar Tree, I think certain things like the dried beans and rice are not really a bargain at Dollar Tree. You can buy a big bag at Walmart for much cheaper than you can buy the little bags that, um, you know, cheaper per ounce. But this was actually a good deal. This is a new item, I believe. I hadn't seen this at Dollar Tree until just my last trip to Dollar Tree, actually. And I've only seen it at one of the four Dollar Trees that I go to. This is quinoa, which is a really great um, high protein grain. And it's also good because it cooks really quickly because if you're in a grid down emergency, you might not have the time, you know, you wouldn't have the fuel and the energy to cook something that needs to cook for a long time. But this is only a six ounce package, but I did compare the price to um, like a pound, this a dollar for six ounces and a pound at Walmart is about $3. Um, the cheapest place I found it was Sam's Club about $2.50 a pound, which comes out to about the, about the same as this, a little bit less. But if you don't have a Sam's Club nearby, this is actually a pretty good buy for this quinoa at the Dollar Tree. So the next category that I have um, for Dollar Tree prepping items is hygiene. Um, the Dollar Tree is a great place to get things like hand sanitizer, obviously bottled hand sanitizer. I'm not a huge hand sanitizer person at all. I really don't like it. I don't think it's great to absorb alcohol into your skin. I'd much rather wash my hands with soap and water. 
But you have to think in terms of a long-term emergency when you're not going to have running water and sanitation might be very important because you don't want to get infections, you know, if you have an injury, you just need to keep clean. So um, for emergency situations, you definitely need to keep plenty of hand sanitizer on hand. I also found these, these are individual packets of hand sanitizer. This is one of those things that I searched for at multiple Dollar Trees before I finally found them. Um, I like the little packets basically for adding to kits like an EDC kit or a travel first aid kit. They're really great um, for applications like that. So I also found at Dollar Tree, this is a really great deal. These are basically disposable washcloths. So they're kind of like a giant baby wipe. And I tried these out and these, this is a really pretty big package. It's 24 of these and they're really big. They smell really good and they're nice and thick. And this is a really great deal compared to buying something similar at Walmart. And this would be really important to have on hand if, if you were in a grid down emergency and it would be difficult to keep your personal hygiene up. So these are also great to stick in like a toilet hygiene kit and to stick in a bug out bag. So that if you're on the go and you're on the road, you have a way to keep clean. So those are great. Um, Dollar Tree is a great place to get dental hygiene items also. I like to pick up uh, these toothbrushes, six of them for a dollar, and they come in a cup type, like a container with a lid, which is basically a cup. A cup and a holder is what it says. But I love to pick these up because if you are in a long-term grid down emergency, at some point your toothbrush is going to run out. It's going to get old and you're going to need another one. So it's great to have a bunch on hand, but I also use these just for everyday little Things like you have somebody spend the night and they didn't bring their toothbrush or your kid accidentally drops his toothbrush in the toilet and you need one for just an emergency backup they're great to have on hand six for a dollar you can't beat that um, you can get some cleaners at Dollar Tree some are better than others this cleaner is a lot of people love this cleaner this is a concentrated it does not disinfect it does not um, kill germs like some but it's a concentrated cleaner that works really well for cleaning so it's always good to have a stock of cleaning supplies on hand in case you come into a time when you're not able to get those. And then the final thing I like to pick up at Dollar Tree for hygiene, they have these little teeny containers of Clorox bleach. This is, I think it says 11 ounces. I like to get these because they're great to um, include in kits like, uh, like our personal, like our toilet and hygiene kit. And I like to bring these when we go camping. We put one of these in our camp kitchen because bleach actually has a very short shelf life. Bleach really shouldn't be stored longer than six months. So this makes it easy to have just a manageable amount in a kit that you can rotate out every three to six months. You know, I just take this out, add it into my regular supply of bleach, use it in my laundry, and get a new one to include in my kit. So that's what we have for hygiene at Dollar Tree. Now the next category where I like to pick up prepping supplies at Dollar Tree is in their hardware and tool department. Um, I picked up some of these. These are like work gloves with a really thick um, silicone palm and fingers. And I felt a lot of the work gloves there in this pair, for some reason, was a lot better quality than most of the other pairs. The silicone is thick. The fabric is thick. They're just a nice pair of gloves. Um, you need to have these in your emergency kits in your car, in your bug out bag, because if you have a time of emergency, you may have to be, um, you know, moving debris or broken glass or you know, burning metal, anything you might need to protect your hands. So it's a really great thing to have. Um, another thing you can pick up in the hardware department at Dollar Tree is um, super glue. And that's really great to have on hand every day and for emergencies and prepping. There's all sorts of different brands that you can get in containers. And I also really like to get these. These are like individual use um, super glues. They're great to put in first aid kits. They're great to put in a vehicle emergency kit. They're great to put in all sorts of kits, just a single use tube of super glue. Another thing you can pick up at Dollar Tree is zip ties. Now these aren't going to be the best quality of zip ties, but they're going to do the job in a lot of cases. You've got really big ones. You've got medium ones, small ones. This has two different sizes. Zip ties can be used for so many different things, for repairing things, for hanging things, for connecting things. They're very important to have on hand. They're a great addition to any um, emergency kit. So Dollar Tree is a great place to pick up some of those. Oh, here's another pack, another length. Um, another thing I like to pick up at Dollar Tree are these plastic drop cloths. 
These are great to have on hand um, for a lot of things. You could use them as a ground cover. You could use them to cover up any number of things and build a shelter. You could use them to make a containment room. You can rope off a containment room with drop cloths and duct tape. So these are a great thing to pick up at Dollar Tree. Nine feet by 12 feet. That's a good sized piece of plastic for a dollar. And along the same lines of the plastic um, sheeting is the ponchos. For a dollar, you really can't have enough of these. You can stick them in any kind of kit, in a bug out bag, in your car. You could stash these anywhere just to have in an emergency. So those are great to pick up at Dollar Tree also. The final category of items, it's one of our five Fs that I like to pick up at Dollar Tree, are some first aid items. Now along with first aid, I would like to point out that Dollar Tree is also a great place to pick up um, containers and um, small size packaging. So sometimes you can get something in a smaller package that it might not be a better deal, but it's just handy to have in a smaller package to include in a kit. You know, a first aid kit, a travel kit, a bug out bag. So some of the things I like to pick up in the first aid department at Dollar Tree, they have all sorts of different bandages. I got these at Dollar Tree. These are actually a name brand, but the Dollar Tree brand also works pretty well. They also have um, liquid skin at Dollar Tree. That's a great thing to pick up. And I really like Dollar Tree. Now, see, here's where the containers come in. These are from Dollar Tree. You get two or three for a dollar. They're a great little container. They actually have an airtight seal. I, they come in all sorts of different colors. I pick up so many of these because I use them for so much stuff. But in here I have um, our extra stash of the antibiotic. It's basically Neosporin, but it's the Dollar Tree brand. And that's one of those things where you do have to be careful because at Walmart, you can get um, something similar for 88 cents. They have their no-name brand. It's not even the great value brand. It's the cheaper brand than that. But it's not always a great deal at Dollar Tree if you can get it for Walmart at, at Walmart for 88 cents or 98 cents even. I know it doesn't seem like 2 cents or 12 cents would make a difference, but it adds up. So maybe that's the extreme cheapskate in me. But, but what I do love about these little tubes is that they have this um, the pointed tip. And I really love that. I feel like you can just deposit the ointment right onto the bandage or right onto the actual wound and not have to use anything to, you know, apply it with. So I love those. I put those in everything. Um, another thing that's great to purchase at Dollar Tree is, like I said about smaller packages. I love to pick up these packets of medicines. There's Advil, Tylenol. There's all sorts that you can get. There's um. Excedrin. There's cold and flu medications. And like I said, that's not going to be a better deal than buying a big bottle at Walmart, for example. But it's just the convenience of the packaging. If you're making a travel first aid kit, if you're making a kit for your car, if you're making a kit for hiking or anything like that, it's really handy to have things in smaller containers sometimes. See here, this is another container I got at Dollar Tree. Here's one that's empty. And here's one I filled up. So this is actually a snack container. This is another one of those things that I desperately hunted for. And when I finally found them, I bought a bunch. But so it, it screws apart. The two sides screw apart. And one side has a little, you know, condiment cup in it. But I'm not using this for snacks. I actually put together, this is just a teaser. I'll do a video and show you everything that's in here. But I actually put together a little grab and go first aid kit in one of these. I saw this idea um, from a YouTuber called Lorna Marie. I love her stuff. She has all kinds of awesome ideas. Um, but this is another idea from Lorna Marie, actually. This is another example of how they have great containers at Dollar Tree that you can use for your kit. See, this is a organizer box, an eight-sided organizer box, and I've used it to put, um, to organize medications. Everything from Tylenol and Advil, Benadryl. I even have um, water purification tablets in here. So this is part of my EDC kit. This goes with me everywhere I go, and I'll do a video on that here shortly as well. Thanks for joining me today to see some of my favorite Dollar Tree preps. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this type of thing, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.